So let's change the topic and now talk about secure remote access within Stabime. Hi. Um, okay. Okay, so uh, BIMI. We at BIMI uh, believe that the PKI and X509 certificates are basically good things, but they are not as uh, convenient enough for a w uh, more widespread use. So we make some tools uh, to make it uh, a bit more easier. Um, me, I'm uh, Ilya. I'm a systems and software engineer for uh, quite a while. I work at BIMI and I have uh, my own open source project. Uh, it's called Next Generation Shell. You can just Google it. Okay, so let's say you have just installed uh, Nextcloud and you want to re remotely access it. So you have a uh, few alternatives and uh, apart from side them, uh, some more exotic alternatives, uh, you are basically with um, Let's Encrypt and so you need to get your own domain name. Uh, you need to get the certificate from Let's Encrypt. You configure your web server and then you need to configure your router and uh, maybe a firewall. And your other option is to use BIMI, and that is how it's happening. Uh, you install Node.js, you install our NPM package, uh, which is BIMI Insta SSL. Uh, you go to the App Store, you download the, um, uh, the Nextcloud plugin. After that, you go to our site, you register, and you get a token. Uh, with that token, you go to the admin screen in the next cloud. Here's a screenshot. You paste it in here, click finish, and you are set. Uh, you can run the, the tunnel now. You just um, press as a start button. Um, and here, how it looks like when it's running. Uh, you get the link. The link is under our domain. Uh, you can stop the tunnel anytime if you want to do it for any reason. Uh, so, how, how does it work? When you activate the tunnel, uh, the tunnel connects to our server, our tunnel server, and waits for incoming connections. And when a browser connects, uh, it uh, looks up in DNS, and the DNS uh, points to our infrastructure. So the connection is made to our tunnel server, uh, but what, what's actually happening is pretty much end-to-end -end TLS between the TLS client, which is the browser, and our BIMI client code, which runs on your server. So let's say uh, you have um, more needs than that, and you want to connect SSH to your server to do some administration tasks. Um, we can help you with that, too. BIMI in SSL can be configured for uh, this uh, use case. Uh, it's a bit more complex um, configuration, and it looks like this. So you have now two BIMI clients, and both of them uh, need to have X509 certificates. Only trusted certificates can connect to the server. And how it looks like uh, network-wise, on the right side, where's the client, there's a TCP socket exposed. And when you say connect SSH, you connect SSH to localhost. And uh, then it's like you have connected to the SSH on the other end, because everything in between is transparent. Um, so why is it secure? Because, um, because the proxy server uh, does not have the key to decrypt the traffic, so we cannot decrypt your traffic, and we are definitely not interested in doing so, because if someone cracks us, um, we don't want our users to be exposed. Uh, your private key does not leave your server, um, so it's another layer of security. Um, so, um, sometimes you may experience uh, with different providers um, some latency issues. Uh, so, for better performance, we uh, placed our servers in different regions. And when BIMI uh, client connects to it, uh, it connects to the nearest server, so the latency is not bad. Um, we tried, um, for example, uh, SSH and remote desktop, and they look fine. They work. Um, as almost you're connected directly. So if your security needs are uh, more advanced than that, there's BIMI Gatekeeper product. Um, it does a lot of things. Um, 
It can manage users. You can send tokens to your friends to connect. And then they will um, get their own X509 certificates. Um, if your security needs are that advanced, I suggest you come and talk to me because it's a very uh, large topic. And uh, thank you. <laughs>